Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, and in this video I'll be showcasing the best cities for the Nets MLS expansion. Before we get into today's video, please smash that subscribe button and also hit that notification bell if you're new to my channel. Chances are if you're watching this video, that means you really love sports and also drop a like on this video. In February of 2023, the commissioner said that the league had plans to announce the 30th team by the end of the year. On May 18th of 2023, the commissioner announced that the Nets MLS expansion team would be San Diego. They would be the league's 30th team and they would start playing in the 2025 season. Originally, the league was open to expanding beyond 30 teams. However, after San Diego was awarded the 30th team, the commissioner said, I don't think sitting here today that we have any plan in the near future to go beyond 30 teams. Even though MLS isn't looking to add any more expansion teams at the moment, that doesn't mean we can't have some fun and look at some possible locations for the future. At number 5, Detroit, Michigan. The city of Detroit has only one professional soccer team in the USL Championship and the team is called the Detroit City FC. The team was founded in 2012. Overall, Detroit is one of 13 metropolitan areas that are home to professional teams representing the four major sports in North America. Since 2017, all of these teams play in the city limits of Detroit itself, a distinction shared with only three other U.S. cities. Also, Detroit is the only U.S. city to have its four major sports teams play within its downtown district. The city is the largest city in the state of Michigan and is the largest U.S. city on the United States slash Canada border. Detroit has a population of 632,464 people, making it the 27th most populous city in the United States. The city was once considered a front runner for an expansion team and was a finalist for an expansion spot when MLS chose to award teams to Nashville and Cincinnati. Detroit lost momentum after changing its plans for a stadium, going from building a new soccer Pacific stadium to playing in Ford Field. I absolutely believe that Detroit should be reconsidered for a future MLS expansion whenever that happens. At number 4, Phoenix, Arizona. Phoenix is one of the largest markets and is the largest in the western part of the United States that doesn't have a MLS franchise. The city of Phoenix has only one professional soccer team in the USL Championship and the team is called the Phoenix Rising FC. That team was founded in 2014 as the Arizona United SC. The city is the home to several professional sports franchises and is one of only 13 U.S. metropolitan areas to have representatives of all four major professional sports leagues. The city has teams from the NFL, MLB, NBA, NHL, WNBA, IFL, USLC. Phoenix is the capital and the most populous city of the state of Arizona. The city is the fifth most populous city of the United States. The most populous state capital in the country and the only U.S. state capital with a population of more than 1 million residents. This great city was once considered a bit of a lawn shot, especially because the market is loaded with professional sports meaning more competition for dollars and eyeballs. And the other one is the brutal climate. But in my opinion, I think that the city of Phoenix is still a wonderful location for a future MLS expansion when or if that happens. They just need to play in an indoor stadium like State Farm Stadium or Chase Field. At number 3, Sacramento, California. In 2019, the city of Sacramento was awarded an MLS expansion team with the Sacramento Republic FC set to join the league in 2022. 
that team's first season was then pushed out to 2023 until majority owner Ron Burkle pulled the pin on the deal altogether because of the financial impacts caused by COVID-19. That team still remains in the USL Championship and that is Sacramento's only professional soccer team in the city. That team was founded in 2011. The Sacramento Republic FC still have one of the best attendance in that league. Sacramento is the capital city of the state of California and is the ninth largest state capital in population. The city does have a larger television market than eight current MLS cities. It still makes sense that Sacramento could still be awarded with an MLS expansion team in the future, but there's no doubt that momentum has been lost for now. I absolutely think that this city should still be a possible location for a future team whenever that happens. At number 2, Tampa Bay, Florida. Tampa Bay is the largest U.S. market without a major lead soccer team. Historically, the city does have some strong soccer links with the Tampa Bay Rowdies, who were one of the strongest teams in the North American Soccer League throughout the 1970s and the 1980s. After that team folded in 1993, the team returned as a Phoenix club in 2010. That team has been members of the USL Championship since 2017 and is the only professional soccer team in the city. Tampa is the largest city in the Tampa Bay area and the city is the 49th largest city in the United States. A franchise in Tampa Bay would be a great rival to Inter Miami and Orlando City SC. So I think that Tampa Bay would be a great opportunity for MLS and could be a huge success for them whenever the Nets expansion happens. At number 1, Las Vegas, Nevada. The city of Las Vegas has two professional soccer teams. One of them being in the USL Championship and that team is called the Las Vegas Lights FC. The other team is called the Las Vegas Legends from the NPSL. The Las Vegas Lights are a very well supported team in the USL Championship with one of the better average attendances in that league. Las Vegas currently has four major professional sports leagues, naming the Raiders from the NFL the Golden Knights from the NHL, the Aces from the WNBA, and eventually the Athletics from MLB. Las Vegas is the 25th most populous city in the United States and is the most populous city in the state of Nevada. Now Las Vegas is becoming a sports city and now has two of the four major professional sports leagues. Even though the city didn't land the 30th MLS expansion team, it was one of the favorites for that expansion. But that doesn't mean Las Vegas won't be the favorite for the Nets expansion even if that ever happens in the future. By all means, I absolutely think with Las Vegas growing in popularity in the professional sports world, I think that the city should be the next city to get a MLS franchise. So those are my possible locations for the Nets MLS expansion. Which city should the Nets MLS expansion go to? Let me know in the comments down below. Before you leave, please smash that subscribe button and also hit that notification bell if you're new to my channel. And if you love sports, this is definitely the channel for you. And also share this video with more sports fans. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Nathan. I'll see you guys all in my next video. Just keep loving sports.